Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is in Janine for the first time in more than 10 years. It comes days after a major Israeli assault on the city's refugee camp in the occupied West Bank. These olives we planted and we protect and we maintain and if they cut a tree we will plant in its place a thousand trees. This is Palestine and this is the Palestinian people. Dear brothers, I'd like to tell you that the authority and the state has come here to emphasize its support for the Janine camp and our people in the city. The Palestinian Authority is a united authority and one nation with one law, security and stability. I would like to say for all people, far and near, we remain as one nation and anybody trying to mess around with our unity will face nothing but bad consequences. We would not allow and we will not accept at all, and I say this loudly and frankly, any external hand that tries to approach our unity and our security and peace and stability. We will cut the hand. This country wants to remain united, all of us united. We are working together to remain together on our land until we liberate this homeland. Let's go to Alan Fisher, who is live in Janine for us in the occupied West Bank. Alan, so I believe Mahmoud Abbas still in Janine. Uh, talk us through the visit so far. Well, a message of unity there from Mahmoud Abbas. He was here just two hours ago, just after he landed. You can see the wreath that he left in the new graveyard that is being built because the two graveyards that were here in Janine are now full up. That's because this year alone, that 64 people have been killed in Janine, including uh, the 11 that are buried there who died during the Israeli assault just a week ago. 12 people died in total. 11 of them are buried over there. And we heard from Mahmoud Abbas talking about unity and how there would be a rebuilding project here. And you can see the need for rebuilding. You can see the damage that has been done. That's just some of the rubble that has been cleared in the past week. But clearly there are areas like this all over. Janine just negotiating her way here. We had to take several different roads to try and find a way that was clear. And he's promised that the money that has been pledged by the United Arab Emirates and also Algeria will be used to rebuild Janine, to make it better than it was before. It's estimated that they'll need somewhere in the, mid the region of $15.5 million to do that rebuild. But as he leaves, and he'll leave probably just in the next 10, 15 minutes or so, he's currently meeting with the, the authorities here in Janine. People will want to see if his words of unity and his promise of rebuilding will actually be delivered, whether or not they will actually see a difference in their everyday lives, which is what most people just want from politicians, because there is a high level of dissatisfaction with the Palestinian Authority, which is why he talked about unity. He's aware of what happened last week at the funerals when a leading member of Fatah, Mahmoud Abbas's party, was asked to leave the funeral. People feel disappointed. They feel neglected by the Palestinian Authority. They feel that they are targets here in Janine. And there was a security alert for Mahmoud Abbas himself. Just a few hours before he was due here, there has been a huge security operation in the town. Hundreds of Palestinian policemen on duty all over uh, this refugee camp. They were on the outskirts of the camp when an Israeli military convoy came towards them, several vehicles. The Palestinians put their vehicles in the road to block their way and essentially told them that they had to leave. But the, Pal the Israelis knew that Mahmoud Abbas was going to be here, so many in the Palestinian Authority think that was a, 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 a calculated snub for him as he's here talking about unity and trying to bring the Palestinians together under the idea that there is this uh, resoluteness among them, this uh, defiance among them, and that they will not be moved from, from areas like Janine and the Janine refugee camp. Alan Fisher there for us in Janine in the Occupied West Bank. Thank you.